reflect. I'm here to give a study this morning, and the study will be Be Silent, Judah Rousing. And we're going to start our study this morning in Zechariah chapter 2, starting with verse 1. And I lifted up my eyes again and looked, and behold, a man with a measuring line in his hand, measuring line as in a rope, uh, as twisted, measuring line by implication, a district, an inheritance, a company tied together, a portion, a region, a cord. For the Lord's portion is his people. Jacob is the lot of his inheritance. And we're going to start our, I mean, we're going to um, go back and forth um, uh, in God's word. Uh, hold your place there. I will come back there, but I'm going to go over to Micah chapter 2, starting with verse 1. Woe to them that devise iniquity and work, work evil upon their beds. When the morning is light, they practice it because it is in the power of their hand. Um, the morning is light, being the day dawn. Uh, day dawn is the first appearance of light in the sky before sunrise, and it's also the beginning of a, of a phenomenon or a period of time, especially one considered favorable. We have also a more sure word of prophecy, whereunto you, you do well, that you take heed as unto a light that shineth in a dark place, until the day dawn and the day star arise in your hearts. But unto you that fear my name shall the Son of Righteousness arise with healing in his wings. They will resist this light, the morning star. Uh, the angel of the morning, angel being a spiritual messenger. I, Jesus, have sent my angel to testify unto you these things in the churches. I am the root and the offspring of David and the bright and morning star. It is in the power of their hand because God is giving them this time. Um, their rod also became a serpent. And we're going to um, go over to Exodus uh, 7, um, verse 10, and read where... Um, their rod became that serpent. And Moses and Aaron went unto Pharaoh, and they did so as the Lord had commanded. And Aaron's ca Aaron cast down his rod before Pharaoh and before his servants, and it became a serpent. Uh, rod as in a branch, figuratively a tribe, this tribe being of Judah, who will have the ruling scepter. A rod for uh, also for chastising, correction, ruling, throwing, walking, uh, a walking staff, and also a support of life bread. Then Pharaoh also called the wise men and the sorcerers and, and now the magicians of Egypt, and they also did in like manner with their enchantments. Uh, like manner as in following after, um, enchantments as in, in wrapping, as to um, enwrap with covering, as to uh, preoccupy in thought, to engross someone covertly, as in not openly acknowledged or displayed, as in hidden. All uh, what they do, uh, Egypt being of the perverse spirit, uh, they will work covertly. Uh, it will not be open. It will be hidden. Um, um, this is spiritual. This is a spiritual battle. That what their intentions are is to have you serve them over over God. Uh, to destroy, um, for they cast down every man his rod, and they became serpents. But Aaron's rod um, swallowed up their rods. It was only the one rod that swallowed up their rods to destroy by swallowing, devour, as did John the Baptist consume locusts, uh, the enemies of God's children. They are swallowed up, devoured by uh, the mouth. They will have no power over them. And then we're going to go back to um, Micah. Um, verse 2. And they covet fields, and take them by violence, and houses, and take them away. So they oppress a man in his house, even a man in his heritage. Uh, covet as to delight and lust after. They are, um, they are taking over the house, as in vessels, um, spiritually devouring. Um, uh, they are uh, stealing our God-given heritage, our portion, this portion being of Judah. 
the Lord's portion. Judah, thy art he whom thy brethren shall praise. Thy hand shall be in the neck of thy enemies. Thy father's children shall down, bow down before thee. Um, then I'm, I'm just going to go over and read on Genesis 49, um, verses 9 and 10. Judah is a lion's whelp. From the prey, my son, thy art gone up. He stooped down. He couched as a lion and as an old lion who shall rouse him up. The scepter shall not depart from judah nor a lawgiver from between his feet until shiloh come and unto him shall the gathering of the people um uh, be um they will oppress um so they oppress a man in his house oppress means to defraud deceive and i'm going to read of um of a deception um in joshua 9 1 And it came to pass when all the kings which were on this side of Jordan in the hills and in the valleys and all the coast of the great sea over against Lebanon, the Hittite and the Amorite, the Canaanite, the Perizzite, the Hivite and the Jebusite heard thereof. Uh, that being six nations altogether, six being the number of Satan. And that great dragon was cast out, that old serpent called the devil and Satan, which deceiveth the whole world. He was cast out unto the earth and his angels were cast out with him. They are coming to resist the rising of Judah, the old lion. They will come to try to take over his pride. Be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary the devil, as a roaring lion, walketh about, seeking whom he may devour. For a nation has come up upon my land, strong and without number, whose teeth are the teeth of a lion, and he hath the cheek teeth of a great lion. They will gather in the place called Armageddon prophetically meaning to be uh, elevated a mountain a large centralized people gathering also an invasive cut as an inside um, the body invasive band of raiders they want your soul to devour you take you over uh, joshua meaning um yah saves yah will save yah is salvation uh, the name of the lord in israel he will rule as god not jacob the heel uh, grabber Um, and that they gathered um, to um, themselves together to fight with Joshua and with Israel in one accord. Um, and, uh, one accord as in one uh, worldism to the beast and one in, uh, and, and one in Christ Jesus, Jesus being Judah. For you, brethren, have become followers of the churches of God which are in Judea, which are in Christ Jesus. They are one in Christ Jesus. Uh, Christ as in Christos, the anointed one, and Jesus, Jesus Yeshua, Savior, Joshua. And when the inhabitants of Gibeon heard what Joshua had done unto Jericho and to Ahai, uh, Gibeon as in hills uh, also means buttocks, also a field where a farmer tills, a hollow where water collects, a cistern, a pool, a marsh. Uh, collect as in locust, to be high and lofty, haughty. A concave hollow, this being when Joshua had the Israelites march around it. Uh, Joshua cursed anyone that was to rebuild it. But Ahai did in the days of King Ahab. Um, the rebuilt Jericho was uh, visited by Elijah. Jericho means to um, detect or produce a scent or fragrance, also a wind and spirit. It is invisible, but it, it, its natural force will move creatures in the same direction. And it also means freedom, spacious, unrestrained, unconfined. Ahai meaning ruin. This being the second city uh, Joshua attacked during his invasion of Canaan. The first being Jericho, and Ahai means to um, bind and twist. Usually, um, well, bind and twist, ruin or perversion, uh, to commit iniquity, to do wrong. And a bat, an, an ambassador is an official representative sent by a country to a foreign country who speaks and represents. Uh, they are using their covert method. As in Exodus chapter 7 verse 11 when Pharaoh and his servants were able to use enchantments. Um, when they come in to resist God's children on um, Judah, one in Christ Jesus, to take back what has been stolen um, they will come covertly wanting to mingle with the seed. 
this being the seed of the stars. This was done in Genesis um, 6, um, and I will read of that. And, the, and it came to pass, when men began to multiply on the face of the earth, and daughters were born unto them, daughters being the spiritual side of man, that the sons of God, these being the angelic beings, as in Joshua 9, verse 1, uh, saw the daughters of men that they were fair, and they took them wives of all which they chose. They came in to mingle the seed, um, to resist that the seed of the stars. And the Lord said, My spirit, as in his Holy Spirit, shall not always strive with man, for that he is also flesh, because he chose flesh over the spirit, yet his days will be a hundred and twenty years. A hundred and twenty means a divinely appointed time of waiting when God will save twelve thousand of each tribe of Israel, that being the 144,000, and then in prophetically in verse chapter 12, uh, starting with verse 7, and there was war in heaven. Michael and his angels fought against the dragon, and the dragon fought with his angels and prevailed not, neither was their place found any more in heaven. And the great dragon was cast out, that old serpent called the devil and Satan, which deceiveth the whole world. He was cast out unto the earth, and his angels were cast out with him. For thy has said in thy heart, I will ascend into heaven, I will exalt my throne above the stars of God, I will sit also upon the mount of the congregation in the sides of the north. He wants to take the ruling scepter, um, the, um, the tribe of Judah, and set up his throne above the stars, the stars being um, those who control the gate of their enemies, that in blessing I will bless thee, and in multiplying I will multiply thy seed as the stars of the heaven and as the sand which is upon the seashore and thy seed as in the stars shall possess the gate of his enemies and then um five and then old shoes clouded with their clotted with their feet and old garments upon them and all the bread of their provision was dry and moldy all the bread of their provision uh as in forethought um um core supply but Put you on the Lord Jesus Christ and make not provision for the flesh to fulfill the lust thereof. I will abundantly bless her provision. I will satisfy her poor uh, with bread. Uh, at, you know, in Exodus se uh, chapter 7, um, the rod, um, there were the two rods. Uh, there will be um, the bread um, as in truth. And then... Um, their bread um, a st um there was the two rods and and rod meaning also um a, a support of life bread um they you have your choice on what bread you choose what rod you serve um and moldy um dry is to be confused or disappointed um shame and moldy um as a crumb and then six, and they went to Joshua unto the camp, camp at Gilgal and said unto him and to the men of Israel, We be come from a far country. Now therefore make you a league with us. Gilgal meaning a circle of stones as in rolling, whirling, or heaping, as in, the, as in land or time, a circuit, a boundary, a territory, far as in place or time, um, um, long ago, um, also being that appointed time of waiting um this being that great dragon that was cast out that old serpent called the devil and satan which uh deceiveth the whole world he was cast out onto the earth and his angels uh were cast out with him uh, that being the six nations of satan and ver on, on verse one and league as a compact passing between um, the flesh um, this being the devouring uh, taking over um, that invasive cut and Arm, uh, Armageddon and league being um, a covenant um, the circumcision um, prophetically being of the heart and I will give them one heart and I will put a new spirit within you and will take the stony heart out of their flesh and will give them a heart of flesh God is a cardio knower he knows who are the true Judah and are th that are one in Christ and who lie and say they, they are Jews but lie and are the synagogue of Satan um, and the men of Israel said unto the Hivites, Peradventure you dwell among us, and how shall we make a league with you? 
And they said unto Joshua, We are thy servants. And Joshua said unto them, Who are ye? And from whence come ye? Um, a bastard, a mamzer, half Israelite, half heathen, shall not enter the congregation of the Lord, even to his tenth uh, generation. Um, ten meaning testimony, law, responsibility, completeness of order, shall he not enter into the congregation of the Lord. The tenth being God's elect. And behold, I have given the children of Levi the tenth in Israel for an inheritance for their service, which they um, would serve even the service of the tabernacle of the, the congregation. And, um, and that is what uh, Satan wants to uh, come up against, um, the congregation um, that being the stars. Um, and then um, nine. And they said unto him, From a very far country thy servants are come because of the name of the Lord thy God. For we have heard the fame of him and all that he did in Egypt. Um, we have heard the fame of him. This will be the spirit of Yahweh when he comes to inhabit the vessel he chooses to dwell in. They will come to resist um, him. Um, but so much the more went there a fame abroad of him, and great multitudes came together to hear and to be healed by him of their infirmities, him being said two times as in the two witnesses that will hold uh, Yahweh. And uh, that will be uh, in Revelation 12, um, verses 1 through, I'm just going to read verses um, 1 through 6. And there appeared a great wonder in heaven, a woman clothed with the sun, and the moon under her feet, and, a, and upon her head a crown of twelve stars, and she being with a child, cried, traveling in birth, and pain to be delivered. And there appeared another wonder in heaven, and behold, a great red dragon, having seven heads and ten horns, and seven crowns upon his head. And his tail drew the third part of the stars of heaven, and did cast them unto the earth. And the dragon stood before the woman, which was ready to be delivered, for to devour her child as soon as it was born. And she brought forth a man-child, who was to rule all nations with with a rod of iron, and her child was called up unto God and to his throne. And the woman fled into the wilderness, where she has a place prepared to God, that they should feed her there a thousand uh, two hundred and three score um, days. Um, and they, um, for we have heard the fame of him and all that he did in Egypt. Egypt being um, prophetically being of the perverse spirit. The Lord has mingled a perverse spirit in the midst thereof, and have caused Egypt to err in every work thereof, as a drunken man uh, staggereth in, uh, in his vomit. He, uh, he led the people out of Egypt um, into the wilderness. Pro um, prophetically, uh, also um, being the two witnesses, will lead them out of the perverse spirit of lies and deceit into truth. And all that he did to the two kings of the Amorites that were beyond Jordan, to Sihon, the king of Heshbon, and to Og, king of Bashan, which was at Astaroth. Astaroth means unions of instructions, clusters of one law. 11. Wherefore our elders and all the inhabitants of our country spake to us, saying, Take victuals with you for the journey, and go to meet them, and say unto them, We are your servants, therefore now make you a league with us. Uh, we are not to become one with our laws. We are to remain separate. In God we trust, not in man we trust. If man brings in another saving system over Jesus Christ being our Savior, we are to serve God rather than man. And I'm just going to uh, hold your place. I'm just going to go over uh, to Luke uh, 20, verse 20. And they watched him, and they sent forth spies, which should feign themselves just men, that they might take hold of his words, so that they might deliver him into the power and authority of the governor. Um, they watched him. They sent forth spies, just as in Joshua, when him comes forth, feign as to speak under a false, pre, um, uh, being false, pretenders, um, as being just men, uh, as in righteous men. Um, they are those that claim that they are Jews, but lie and are the synagogue of Satan, that they might take hold of his words. They are trying to resist his words, deliver him unto the power and authority of the governor. 
A governor meaning one that um, executes authority, especially over an area or a group, this being of Satan's governing, governing power. And they asked him, saying, Master, we know that thou sayest and teachest rightly, neither acceptest thou the person of any, but teachest the way of God truly. Uh, he serves God over man's laws and commands, um, and prophetically she will may remain um, a virgin um, to God. It is lawful. Is it lawful to us to give tribute unto Caesar or no? Caesar means cutting, piercing, penetrating. Uh, this being where the name Caesarian came from. It was, it was said that he was cut out of his mother's womb instead of coming through the waters. But he perceived their craftiness and said unto them, Why tempt you me? Show me a penny. Whose image and superscription hath it? And they answered and said, Caesar's. And he said unto them, Render therefore unto Caesar the things which be Caesar's, and unto God the things which be God's. Uh, on our coins is, in, coins is in God we trust, not Caesar, the man governor, but Christ Jesus uh, of Judah, those that are in Christ Jesus, um, in one in Christ Jesus. And he said unto them, Render therefore unto Caesar the things which be Caesar's, and unto God the things that be God's. Um, and they could not take hold of his words before the people, and they marveled at his answer and held um, their peace. They had to hold their peace, um, verse 20, that they might take hold of his words. They uh, held their peace. They had no power over his mouth. And we're going um, to go back to Joshua 9 and, re and start um, with verse 11. Wherefore our elders and all the inhabitants of our country spake to us, saying, Take victuals with you for the journey, and go to meet them, and say unto them, We are your servants, therefore now make you a league with us. This our bread we took hot for our provision out of our houses on the day we come forth to go unto you. But now, behold, it is dry and it is moldy. Um, that being their lies and deceit. And these bottles of wine which we filled were new, and now, behold, they be rent. And these are our garments and our shoes are become old by reason of the long journey. And the men took of their victuals and asked not counsel at the mouth of the Lord. Uh, they asked not counsel at the mouth of the Lord. They are not listening to his commands as, in the, as in the governor over the people. That being of the two witnesses, that will be the mouthpiece over Judah, those that are one in Christ Jesus, Levit that will be the Levitical priesthood, God's elect. And Joshua made peace with them and made a league with them to let them live, and the princes of the congregation swear unto them. Um, peace as in rest, prosperity, becoming one. And princes of the congregation, being prophetically um, God's elect, um, for thy is said in thy heart, I will ascend into heaven, I will exalt my throne above the stars of God, and I will send upon the mount of the congregation in the sides of the north. Um, and then um, we're going to skip to verse 27. And Joshua made them that day hoers of wood and drawers of water for the congregation and for the altar of the Lord, even unto this day in the place which he should choose. Um, instead of them being destroyed by being exposed as liars and thieves, they instead allowed them to uh, destroy the priesthood, allowing them into the congregation to mingle within us. And then we're going to go back to Zechariah 2, verse 2. And then said I, Whether goest thou? And he said unto me, To measure Jerusalem, to see what is the breadth thereof, and what is the length thereof. And I'm just going to go over to Ephesians 3. For this I, Paul, uh, this calls I, Paul, the prisoner of Jesus Christ, for you Gentiles. If, if you have heard of the dispensation of the grace of God, which is given me to you, Ward, how that by revelation he made known unto me the mystery as I wrote afore in a few words, whereby when you read 
you may understand my knowledge in the mystery of Christ, which in other ages was not made known unto the sons of men, as it is now revealed unto his holy apostles, being the sent ones, and prophets by the Spirit, by the Spirit, those that are um, one in uh, Christ uh, Jesus, that the Gentiles should be fellow heirs and of the same body and partakers of his promise in Christ by the gospel, whereof I was made a minister according to the gift of the grace of God given unto me by the effectual working of his, of his power, of his power. Unto me, in who am less than the least of all saints is this grace given that I should preach among the Gentiles the unsearchable riches of Christ and to make all men see what is the fellowship of the mystery which from the beginning of the world has been hid in God who created all things by Jesus Christ to the intent that now unto the principalities and powers in heavenly places as in the stars Judah might be known by the church the manifold uh, wisdom of God according to the eternal purpose which he purposed in Christ Jesus our Lord in whom we have boldness and access with confidence by faith of him wherefore I desire that you faint not at my tribulations for you which is your glory for this cause I bow my knees unto the father of our Lord Jesus Christ of whom the whole family in heaven and earth is named that he would grant you according to the riches of his glory to be strengthened with might by his spirit in the inner man that christ may dwell in your hearts by faith that you being rooted and grounded in love may be able to comprehend with all saints what is the breadth and the depth and 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 in height and to know the love of christ which passive um, knowledge that you might be filled with the fullness of God. Now unto him that is able to exceedingly abundantly above all that we ask or think according to the power that worketh in us, unto him be glory in the church by Jesus Christ throughout all ages, world without end. Uh, amen. And that um, back to Zechariah uh, 2. And that was verse 2. Then said I, Whether goest thou? And he said unto me, To measure Jerusalem, to see what is the breadth thereof, and what is the length thereof. And behold, the angel that talked with me went forth, and another angel went out to meet him, and said unto him, Run, speak to, the, to this young man, saying, Jerusalem shall be inhabited as towns without walls for the multitude of men and cattle therein. For I said the Lord will be unto her a wall of fire round about, and, w and will be the glory in the midst of her. A wall of fire, this um, being his Holy Spirit, the glory in the midst of her. Ho, ho, come forth and flee from the land of the north, says the Lord, for I have spread you abroad as the four winds of the heavens, says the Lord. When the four winds are released, God's Holy Spirit will be withdrawn from this earth and will only be in those that have taken of the marriage, becoming one in Christ Jesus, that be in Judah. For you, brethren, have become the followers of the churches of God, which are in Judea, which are in Christ Jesus, uh, this being the wall of fire round about. North meaning dark, gloomy, unknown, and hidden. And the Lord said unto me, Out of the north an evil shall break forth upon the inhabitants of the land, uh, and after these things I saw four angels st uh, standing on the four corners of the earth, uh, holding the four winds of the earth, that the wind should not blow on the earth, nor the sea, nor on any tree. And deliver thyself, O Zion, that dwellest with the daughter of Babylon. For thus say the Lord of hosts, after the glory has he sent me unto the nations which spoiled you. For he that touches you touches the apple of his eye, spoiled as to strip, as in strip spiritually naked. Uh, for behold, I will shake my hand upon them, and they shall be a spoil to their servants, and you shall know that the Lord of hosts has sent me. Sing and rejoice, O daughter of Zion, for lo, I come, and will dwell in the midst of thee, says the Lord. Daughter of Zion, daughter be in the spiritual side, and then in verse 7, daughter of Babylon. He did not mention daughter in O Zion um, in verse 7, but just Zion. Now he is saying daughter of Zion. 
He dwells in the midst of the golden candlesticks. For you, brethren, have become the followers of the churches of God, which are in Judea, which are in Christ Jesus. He's in the midst. And many nations shall be joined to the Lord in that day, and shall be my people. And I will dwell in the midst of thee, and I shall know that the Lord of hosts has sent me unto thee. And the Lord shall inherit Judah his portion in the holy land, and shall choose Jerusalem again. Jerusalem be in a condition of truth and righteousness. And be silent, uh, uh, O all flesh, before the Lord, for he is raised up out of his holy habitation. They will be silent now, for Judah is roused up. And I'm going to go back and read in Genesis 49, uh, 8 through 10. Judah, thy art he whom thy brethren shall praise. Thy hand shall be in the neck of thy enemies. Thy father's children shall bow down before thee. Judah is a lion's whelp from the prey, my son. Thy art gone up. He stooped down. He couched as a lion and as an old lion who shall rouse him up. The scepter shall not depart from Judah, nor a lawgiver from between his feet, until Shiloh come. And unto him shall the gathering of the people be. Shiloh meaning a Messiah, sent, to send out or let go, a shoot, a branch, or the outstretching of one's hand as in power. And we're going to go over to Joshua 18. I'm going to read 1 through 10, and we're going to finish up the study in that, ver in that chapter. And the whole congregation of the children of Israel assembled together at Shiloh, and they set up the tabernacle of the congregation there. And the land was subdued before them. And there remained among the children of Israel seven tribes, which had not received of their inheritance. And Joshua said unto the children of Israel, How long are you slack to go possess the land, which the Lord God of, of your fathers hath given you? Give, give, Give out from among you three men for each tribe, and I will send them, and they shall rise and go through the land and describe it according to the inheritance of them. And they shall come again to me, and they shall divide it into seven parts. Judah shall abide in their coast on the south, and the house of Joseph shall abide in the coast on the north. You shall therefore describe as to write, record, describe, the land into seven parts and bring the description hither to me that I may cast lots for you here before the Lord our God but the Levites have no part among you for the priesthood of the Lord is their inheritance and Gad and Reuben have and half the tribe of Manasseh have received their inheritance beyond Jordan on the east which Moses the servant of the Lord gave them and the men arose and went away and Joshua charged that they went to describe the land saying go and walk through the land and describe it and come again to me that i i may here cast lots for you before the lord in shiloh and the men went and passed through the land and described it by cities into seven parts in a book and came again to joshua to the host at shiloh and joshua cast lots for them in shiloh before the lord and there joshua divided the land unto the children of israel according to their divisions and there was given me a reed like unto a rod, and the angel stood, saying, Rise, and measure the temple of God, and the altar, and them that worship therein. And we're going to end this for today, elect. You have a great day until the morning.